WNBC5 investigates tiger trouble and an illicit business that hits deadly close to home. Roughly 5,000 tigers are held in captivity in the United States. Many are bought illegally and sold Ill illegally. But tonight, an Indiana man is on a mission to save these endangered animals from an uncertain future. <laughs> they come right up to you. Do you like me? Joe Taft has a special bond with these animals. Well, you know, this is obviously a labor of love. He's the founder of the exotic feline rescue center, 260 acres of sanctuary near Terre Haute, Indiana. Almost 150 lions, tigers, leopards, other big cats that have been abused, abandoned, confiscated by government agencies. They all have names, and they all have nowhere else to go. We're a home of last resort. Many of the animals you see here didn't come from overseas. They were born and bred right here in the United States, and a lot of them from private owners who may have had the best of intentions, but simply couldn't afford to or didn't want to care for them. We have had cats come here that have been originally bought as pets by people who suddenly realized that they don't want an animal that could kill them. That cuddly cub quickly grows into a hungry and expensive wild animal. One that eats up to 40 pounds of meat a day in the winter. These animals are dangerous. These animals will kill you because they like you. Here's a couple of cats that come from one of the Tiger King people. Joe Taft might as well be the exact opposite Yes, I like you too. Of Joe Exotic. You're gonna have to kill me to shut me up. The colorful zookeeper featured in the Netflix docuseries Tiger King. Joe Maldonado Passage was convicted for breeding and selling endangered animals across state lines and even killing five tigers. I think the Tiger King has taken a big step forward in, in saying that some of this business is shut down. We have more tigers here in the United States than we do in the wild. Uh, and that's just a fact. Special Agent Tim Santel is with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service trying to stop this lucrative and illegal trade. They either sell it and they push their problem on somebody else, or in my case, uh, or the investigation that uh, I conducted, they killed them. It was 22 years ago, this blood-soaked trailer, the site of the largest documented murder of endangered tigers, killed for sport and for money. It became quite obvious that dead cats were worth a lot more than live cats. Santel led Operation Snowplow and revealed a gruesome black market in the Chicago suburbs. 13 tigers and leopards were slaughtered for their hides and their skulls. Even tiger meat was sold, 15 bucks a pound at a butcher shop in Lockport. You can make money off it, they're gonna try to sell it. And uh, whether it's dead, live, pieces or parts, <sighs> A leopard named Bubbles is one of the lucky ones. He was afraid and he was he was a dangerous animal. Fish and Wildlife brought him and the other survivors of that horror here to Joe's sanctuary. What I know about what they did undercover, they're some of the bravest people I've been, I could have ever met. Since Operation Snowplow, there have been new laws and new investigations, but the same problem remains. Too many exotic cats go unwanted. <laughs> Not for Joe Taft. He says he always has space for more. You know, you obviously can't save them all, uh, but you can certainly save one individual at a time, and that's what we try and focus on. Just last week, Congress passed a bill written by Chicago Congressman Mike Quigley that would end private ownership of big cats. Still no word on when the Senate will take up that bill. I know.